Joining us today with some reminders for driving safe in the snow is Boise Police Corporal Ryan Jones. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure. <laughs> All right, well, Cor Corporal Jones, what do you see as the biggest cause of crashes when people are driving in the snow this time of year? Well, one of the things that we can remember is to always wear our seat belts, but especially when it's slick on the road where there's snow, ice, rain on the road, that we need to slow our vehicles down and increase our following distance. We can't account for the other cars that are on the road. We can only account for the things that we do ourselves. And the best way to prevent those accidents is to slow down and increase our uh, following distance. Well, thank you. And for anyone traveling by car for the holidays, it's always a good idea to make sure that you're prepared for the weather as possible. Now, what steps should drivers take before they hit the road? We've all hit the road before and taken long trips, even in the snow. One of the things that you can do is plan for the worst. If the car breaks down or if there's an accident where law enforcement or help can't get there in a timely manner, we should always have water in the car, blankets, uh, heavy clothing, winter, winter coats and things like that, just in case something happens and uh, you're not able to get help uh, right away. Yeah, well, thank you for that. And are there any problem areas in Boise that people should avoid or be extra cautious of when it snows? I don't think there's any really area that you need to avoid. I know that the connector gets especially slick uh, when it gets wet and then gets really, really cold. Um, but any place where there's snow on the road and we just increase our, our following distance and slow things down, there's no real bad area to be in, in Boise during the snow. And now what, what about when you when, when there's a crash? Like what should you do if you are in a vehicle crash? If you're in a crash and you're able to get your vehicle off the road, the best thing to do is to pull into a parking lot and call the police department and wait. If for some reason you can't move your car because it's disabled, then try to turn on the hazard lights and move to a safe place and wait for the police department to arrive. Yeah, that makes sense. And um, this morning we were talking about um, seeing any uh, any emergency lights on the side of the road. What should you do when you see, you know, those uh, crews out there working and maybe any uh, potential emergencies on the side of the road? If ever there's a you you drive up upon a, a tow truck or a police officer or a paramedic or a firefighter with the lights on, you're supposed to decrease your speed and move over to another lane if you can. If you can't move over another lane, it's only a single lane, then decrease your speed and be very careful when you pass by. We get officers that get hit by vehicles uh, almost every year here in Idaho. Yeah, and it's definitely important to, you know, help each other out and keep each other safe. So any final tips on what you want drivers to know before heading out in the snow? One of the tips that I would give people is that although people may be driving SUVs or all wheel drive vehicles or four wheel drive vehicles, those cars typically are able to accelerate much quicker in the snow and the ice. However, all cars stop the same way. So if you're going too fast or you're driving a heavy car, it's going to take longer to stop. So when you go out in the snow in the first part of the day, test your brakes, start to stop at a, at a further distance back to see what happens when you apply your brakes in the snow and the ice before it's too late and you break at the normal place when it's not snowing or rainy or slick. And I know that you mentioned this a little bit before when we started the interview, but what are some of the things, some of the tools that we should have on hand just to stay prepared? Well, if you're taking long trips, we should have uh, warm clothing, blankets, water, and, and things like that. Um, I think just driving around town, people are used to getting to their destinations, but you have to plan for the possibility of a breakdown or a crash. What are you gonna do if that happens? All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today, and um, we hope to see you again uh, next week.